The coronavirus is quickly becoming one of the leading causes of death in the United States, experts say. Thursday was the deadliest day of the pandemic in the U.S., with 2,897 deaths, according to Johns Hopkins data. While the more than 277,000 COVID-19 deaths may not seem like a lot in a nation of nearly 330 million people, COVID-19 has replaced accidents as the third leading cause of death. According to the CDC, heart disease caused more than 650,000 deaths in the U.S. in 2018 followed by cancer, which caused nearly 600,000 deaths. The third leading cause of death in the U.S. for that year were accidents or unintentional injuries, which killed about 167,000 people in 2018. Last year at this time, COVID-19 wasn't a cause of death. Now it's around the number three cause of death, said Dr. Amesh Adalja, an infectious disease physician and senior scholar at the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. The numbers of deaths that are occurring right now is an aberration, it's not normal. For those who equate the impacts of coronavirus to the flu, only about 60,000 people died from influenza and pneumonia in 2018, according to the CDC. Experts say that's on par with a typical flu season, putting it at eighth place for deaths in the U.S. under chronic lower respiratory diseases, stroke, Alzheimer's disease and diabetes. Here's what to know today. This file will be updated throughout the day. For updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Daily Briefing newsletter. Student loan borrowers won't have to make payments on federal student loans until the end of January, the U.S. Education Department said Friday, extending a pandemic-era reprieve through the first days of the Joe Biden presidency. The extension also continued a pause in interest on loans and in collections on delinquent loans through January 31, said a news release from the department. President Donald Trump's Education Department first paused debt payments on federal student loans in March, as the coronavirus pandemic ravaged the U.S. economy. In August, officials extended that suspension through December. Now, the pandemic pause will last until Biden and his administration have taken over. Five San Francisco Bay Area counties imposed a new stay-at-home order for their residents that will take effect Sunday. Southern California and a large swath of the central portion of the state could join this weekend. Those two regions have seen their intensive care unit capacity fall below the 15% threshold that under a new state stay-at-home order will trigger new restrictions barring all on-site restaurant dining and close hair and nail salons, movie theaters and many other businesses, as well as museums and playgrounds. If their capacity remains below that level when the data is updated Saturday, the closures will take effect Sunday and stay in effect at least three weeks. Governor Gavin Newsom announced the new plan Thursday.